Chester County, Pennsylvania is home to more mushroom farms than anywhere else in the United States. Interesting, right? But what's more interesting is how one of those farms took a byproduct of the mushroom growing process and created an innovative and unique green solution that's used all over the United States. What kind of solution? The kind that lets a farm grow 50,000 pounds of organic produce in the middle of New York City on top of a roof. Join me as I speak to Joe Denorsha, president of Skyland USA, to tell us about his roof light product. And the demand for green roofs has grown uh, quite strongly over the last six to seven years and the main driver for that growth is uh, the benefits that you get from stormwater management. Okay. Uh, inner cities have a tremendous problem with uh, the existing stormwater systems that are in place and typically especially on the east coast those systems cannot be expanded so the only way to reduce the amount of water going into the systems is to somehow find a way to divert that water. Hmm. And with a green roof, about 60 to 80 percent of the water that falls on a roof never leaves the roof. It stays on the roof surface. So it, it does a tremendous job in that regard. Interesting. What other benefits does it offer? The other big, big benefit is energy savings. Uh, on a typical uh, membrane roof which we would have on a commercial building in the dead of summer in this area in the mid-atlantic region you could get reflective temperatures in excess of 180 degrees and of course that heat is transferred down into the building to some degree and uh, increases the heat level of the building which the air conditioning system has to take care of with a green roof in place because of the evaporation it, it's it's always taking place on a green roof that temperature goes from 180 degrees to 80 degrees on the membrane of the roof. Wow. So there's a tremendous reduction in the heat load on the roof itself, and, and thus there's a, an energy savings. So what we're talking about is, is vegetating uh, a roof. Uh, and So what does that mean? That means, in some small way, uh, transforming that building that doesn't have a green roof back to its sort of natural uh, state. By uh, putting green roofs on structures, you uh, utilize that water uh, for plant growth and get all the benefits uh, of a green roof, uh, and at the same time, uh, stop the runoff into the stormwater systems, which typically through a stormwater system, that water is never returned to the groundwater system. It's d discharged into rivers and then ultimately into the oceans uh, as a potential pollutant. Okay. Now, as, as time has gone on, uh, the customers and the, and the people that install the green roof see the benefits of the stormwater management, of the uh, reduction in uh, uh, air conditioning uh, uses. Uh, the benefits of uh, mitigating the heat urban island effect, which I haven't talked about, which is uh, occurs in every city where, again, you have all these impervious surfaces and, and concrete brick uh, buildings that act as heat sinks. We've done thousands of, of green roof installations. Uh, to date, we've probably, not probably, we have done over 10 million square feet of, of green roof installations. Uh, some of the biggest ones that we've done uh, would be the uh, recently new uh, headquarters for Homeland Security and the Coast Guard, uh, which is in the Washington, D.C. area. We did that three or four years ago. Uh, another one we just did here recently, locally, uh, there are two hospitals. One is the uh, Children's Hospital, the A.I. DuPont Hospital in uh, Wilmington. And we're still now just finishing up the new CHOP edition in Philadelphia, uh, which is going to be a magnificent project when it's finished. Uh, the Soils Division was created at Laurel Valley uh, because of the need of the owners and the foresight of the owners to start to come up with some type of means to uh, find a better way to get rid of the mushroom compost uh, in a beneficial way uh, after they were done cropping it. That started in uh, 
1999. And uh, I'm proud to say for, for the company and, and for all of the team that we have at the Soils Division, it has grown every, every year since then up to the present. So. so what is mushroom compost? Mushroom compost is uh, produced for the production of uh, white uh, button mushrooms and it's comprised uh, mainly of uh, either hay or uh, wheat straw uh, in this area and that comprises about 70 to 75 percent of the total mix and then there's some additional uh, nitrogen sources that are added to that. Once the uh, the compost is finished through that process, it's delivered to the farms, the farmers grow their crops of mushrooms from them, and uh, after about a 10-week period, the amount of return they get from the compost is re reduced to a point where it, it makes it no longer cost-effective to continue to crop, so they take all of that compost, remove it, and replace it with new compost. That removed compost, we as the Laurel Valley Soils Division, take back from our grower members and we compost it down further to make it look like what uh, you would deem as compost for your garden, for landscaping, for horticultural purposes. And, and from that we make upwards of a hundred different blends of products uh, using okay. the, the mushroom compost as, as the, the core ingredient. Uh, in those uh, products, and one of those products happens to be uh, the green roof media. So, yeah, we've always touted ourselves as as uh, mushroom farms and mushroom farmers as being uh, one of the the first recyclers of materials. But uh, of course, here at Laurel Valley, uh, we've taken that even a step further by taking the materials back and processing them and and uh, creating a new business. Uh, with those products as well and ultimately returning those products right back uh, to the earth where they originally came from. Right. So it's pretty neat. 